Unfortunately, I have some bad news for you guys. About two months ago, I walked outside in my yard and found all of my mink cages empty with their doors swinging open. So, um, I'm sad to announce uh, there is no more Washouche. Um, digits gone. All, all, all of my mink, they're gone. I don't have them anymore. Um, uh, I've told a few people about this already on my Facebook page. And um, so they know, but I haven't announced it officially to YouTube followers. And so I wanted to, to tell you guys the sad news. But Washouche, man, he was such a great hunter with so much potential, I should say. He wasn't a great hunter yet, but he was learning and uh, he was just an awesome mink to work with. So it was, it was really sad to lose him, but um, I, I guess that's life, right? Um, now, I've had a lot of people ask me things like, okay, did you contact the authorities? Where did they go? Did someone just turn them out? I get all these questions. So to avoid you guys asking these questions a thousand times, look, I've done everything I can. They're not coming back. Uh, no, they weren't just let out. They would have stuck around in my yard, at least one of them. You know, Digit's been out half a dozen times, and she's never gone farther than the neighbor's yard. Uh, you know, I would have found them if they were just turned loose. And yes, I've done everything. Uh, so don't ask me those questions a thousand times, please. I'm tired of going over it. It's really a sore subject for me. This is really a frustrating uh, experience. So I know here's another question I know I'm going to get. What's the future? Are you going to give up? Are you going to quit? Are you going to get another mink? Everyone wants to know that too. So I'll answer that question here as well. Um, yes, I'm getting a new mink. Um, I've moved. I wanted to avoid that crap from happening again. So I'm in a totally new location. So I'm getting a new mink and I'm going to make a really special effort to introduce you guys to her and to show you her progress through the training and through her development. And through how she learns there's a couple reasons i want to do this one i know you guys would love it but also i want to be able to show you the process in detail far more detail than i ever have so that anyone who wants to raise a me can follow what i've learned and and duplicate it uh, the rest of this video i'm going to dedicate it to washushe i'm going to show you a little clips from from his life and his hunts and i hope you guys enjoy it now if you've already seen all my videos, don't be like, oh, I don't need to watch the rest of this video because I already know what you're going to show me. No, I have a little surprise at the end, something I was, uh, I hadn't shown you guys yet. So watch these little clips. Even if you've seen them, you'll have a surprise at the end. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. Really sorry to break the bad news to you so late. But like I said, it was really hard for me to, to make this video uh, and to announce his loss or my loss of... of of him and my other me. So, sorry it took me so long. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah. Look at this little guy. Ooh, he's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. <laughs> You're making me look like a wuss. Look at that bulldog. Look at that bulldog. Look at that sucky. Come on, buddy. We want the glove back. Yeah. Didn't tell me I had an insane glow over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah. Look at that! Holy cow! Did he change grips? He switched grips and dug deep and jumped back in like a split of a second. Man, I want this little guy. You say he's the meanest on the farm? Oh, by a mile. He shows no sign of tiring either. No, he does not want to quit. He's not even. Oh, man. Look at, hey, muscles. Look at his muscles. It. I'm thinking about it. It's kind of dumb, but I'm thinking about it. Oh, he seems. You think he? You well, think here's he's small. the thing. He can honestly, Joe. He can do more good than you and me. You think he'd? Um... We just saved his life.
Did he just eat or? 